Modular Arithmetic and Cryptology Cryptology is the study of making and breaking secret codes. Secret codes are exchanged between people to protect the information. Messages are turned into secret codes so that only the intended receiver would know what is the true message behind the secret codes. So something like this happens uh, in cryptology. You want to write a message to someone, but this is a sensitive information. So what you can do is you can put that letter inside a box made from steel and you will lock it. So imagine that the lid of the box is placed on top of the box and the box is now locked and it is tightly sealed. Someone will send that box to the intended receiver, to the person you have in mind, but he or she has a key to the box. She or he will open the box, retrieve the letter, and read the message. So this is what happens in cryptology. You have the plain text. The plain text can be something like this. Go home, dad. You will send this to your father, but you want to send it as a secret message. You will do it with the help of an encryption key. The encryption key will produce a cipher text, something like this. Your father, upon receiving the cipher text, will use a decryption key to decode the true message behind the cipher text, and he knows what's behind the message. He has to go home. So we will begin with the English alphabet, and we will produce the numeric equivalent of each of these letters. So A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, and then when we get to, to Z, look at this, Z is going to be 0. That is supposed to be uh, number 26, but we will use congruence modulo 26, and 26 is congruent to 0 modulo 26. So let's say, for example, this is the message you want to send your father. Dad, send money. You don't want to send it as a text message because your mom might find out you are asking your father for an extra money when she already gave you money. But because you are a wise man, you are a wise boy, you are smart, you will do this. You will send your father this message. But you will use an encryption key. Oh, by the way, the numeric equivalent of this message is this one, 414195, so on and so forth. And this string of integers came from this table. You will now apply your encryption key. 4 plus 6, 4 plus 6, look at that, 4 plus 6 is 10, 1 plus 6 is 7, 19 plus 6 is 25, and the resulting string of integers is going to be this one. And then again, you will go back, you will go back to the table to produce the cipher text. This now is the cipher text. How on earth would your father know the message behind the cipher text? Your father will use a decryption key, he will apply the decryption key to these numbers, okay? Because your father will convert this to their numeric equivalent. So J is 10, G is 7, J is 10, Y is 25. And then after applying the decryption key, the output is this one. And this string of integers is equivalent to this message. Dad, send money. And your father would know what to do. He will send you money. This is your 
encryption key? The receiver, your father, must have the decryption key. So let's say you are a, a commander, you are a general, or you are a captain of a squad or of a company. And this is the message that you want to send to your squad who are out there in the field. Attack enemy today. The numeric equivalent of that message is this one. Where did this string of integers come from? It came from this. You will apply the encryption key. You will encrypt this with the help of an encryption key, y is congruent to 7 times x minus 15 modulo 26. So the x here stands for these integers. You will apply the encryption key to that set of integers. The result is this one. And then you will go back to the table. You will go back to the table once again to produce the letter equivalent of this string of integers. And this now is what you call the ciphertext. Your squad leader, who is there stationed in the field and ready to attack, will receive the secret message. He has no way of knowing what is the message behind this secret code. So, your squad leader should have a decryption key. This is the decryption key. X is congruent to 15 times Y plus 15 modulo 26. He will apply the decryption key to the numeric equivalent of the ciphertext. And it will produce this. And then the squad leader will go back to the table to produce the letter equivalent of these integers. And this is the message. Attack enemy today.